So PUBG Mobile is still one of the biggest smartphone games on the planet here in good old 2020, bringing together people of all colours, creeds and races as they murder the living shit out of one another until just one remains. And the good news is you don't need some sort of sexy, premium, expensive smartphone to get involved either. The mobile version of PUBG features scalable graphics and all kinds of toggles, so even quite budget-friendly handset will do the job. In fact, the game works surprisingly well even on quite cheap handsets, although some affordable phones will struggle to keep up a dependent frame rate and the odd stutter is the very last thing you need when playing PUBG Mobile where split second reactions are all that stand between you and an early bath. Now, I've been testing PUBG Mobile on a variety of budget friendly smartphones to see which ones offer the best overall performance and gaming experience for the lowest price and here's my roundup of the best PUBG Mobile budget smartphones in 2020. And for more on the latest and greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now let's start with one of the cheapest dedicated gaming smartphones out there offering premium performance and proper gaming features for just £400. The Red Magic 3S from Nubia boasts a 90Hz screen, a Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset, a massive 5000mAh battery and proper liquid coolant which is frankly balmy given that affordable cost. This metal beast weighs in at just over 200 grams, complete with the mandatory RGB lights and frills. It certainly looks and feels like a premium device. That gigantic 6.65 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen is ideal for a proper gaming session with the usual HDR chops. Plus that 90Hz refresh rate means silky smooth gameplay for supported titles. And the Red Magic 3S also supports a 240Hz touch response rate which is again bonkers given that low asking price. Basically means as soon as you tap or swipe that screen you will see an instant response, no costly delays. And the audio smarts match that slick screen with stereo speakers and full DTSX support plus a headphone jack as well. And this wallet friendly blower also packs a premium performance punch thanks to that Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset and 8 to 12 gigs of memory. So yeah, PUBG Mobile unsurprisingly plays on top detail levels with a consistent 60 FPS playback. Sadly, despite that mighty 5000 mAh battery, gaming on this thing does sap the power pretty quick, probably because of all the premium tech stuffed inside. So we found you got just over 4 hours of PUBG Mobile action from a full charge. You can also game when plugged in, however, thanks to the extensive cooling support. As well as the heat pipe, you've got an internal fan as well which pushes the hot air out, although it is a noisy wee blighter when it gets going. And you also get some cool dedicated gaming features like these haptic shoulder triggers which really help to give you an edge over the competition. Of course 400 quid is still a fair chunk of change but the good news is there are plenty more budget friendly mobiles that can still blaze through a bit of PUBG like this here Huawei Nova 5T. The Nova boasts similar specs to Huawei's P30 flagship phone but with a far less terrifying price tag of around 350 quid. On board you'll find a Kirin 980 chipset which can easily cope with more demanding games and PUBG Mobile fans are well catered for by Huawei's GPU Turbo feature. This helps to maintain a consistently high frame rate even during lengthy gaming sessions so you can frag fools to your heart's content and keep your competitive edge. A 3750mAh battery provides strong returns, while the 6.26 inch IPS screen boasts Full HD visuals so you can clearly see any sneaky wee sods creeping up on you. And the rest of the phone from the Emotion UI launcher to that powerful camera tech is just as lovable when you aren't blasting chunks out of random strangers. For a little bit less cash than that you can grab Samsung's Galaxy A51 which again provides a solid dependable gaming experience. Samsung's Exodus chipset isn't quite as powerful as that Kirin platform but you still get a pretty consistent frame rate with high detail settings in PUBG Mobile. Samsung's Game Launcher tool helps to keep things running smoothly by bagsy and resources and you get a few extra features like a game record tool if you fancy sharing your greatest frags online. The 4000mAh battery does empty fairly fast when you're playing PUBG Mobile though so you'll definitely want to give it a bit of a top up before you get stuck into your session. But the mighty 6.5 inch Super AMOLED screen offers a crisp and colourful view of the action, minus this tiny spec here where the selfie cam rests. And it's perfectly flat unlike more premium Samsung Galaxy smartphones so it's ideal for playing with those complex virtual controls. And I've also got a lot of love for Motorola's Moto G8 Plus launched at the end of last year which at 230 quid offers solid value for money. The stock Android UI means you don't get any built in bonus gaming features but it also means smooth running at all times helped along by that Snapdragon 665 platform and 4 gigs of RAM. PUBG Mobile runs wonderfully considering the budget asking price of the Moto G8 Plus and that 6.3 inch Full HD screen is once again a great way to game, 7-up sharp visuals and a bright finish for outdoor gaming. And for a similar price you can pick up the very shiny Oppo A9 2020. Like the Moto G8 Plus you have a Snapdragon 665 power on the show and while the everyday running isn't quite as smooth this Oppo Mobile can still smash through a long game of PUBG Mobile 
on those lower detail settings. This GP blower does support its own dedicated gaming mode as well, courtesy of that Color OS launcher. And the mighty 5000 milliamp battery means you can keep on gaming on PUBG pretty much well into the wee hours. A spacious 6.5 inch screen means you won't be squinted to see which cheeky loafer is sniping at you, while the stereo speaker setup means you don't even need to bother with headphones, quite a rarity at this price. Overall, the A9 2020 is a great budget gaming phone and one of my top picks at this price. Now, if your budget is really, really tight, then definitely consider the Redmi Note 8T, which costs under 200 quid and yet still packs some pretty respectable gaming chops. The Redmi 6.3 inch IPS screen still boasts a full HD resolution with only a dinky wee nipple notch poking its way in, and this proves responsive enough to make PUBG perfectly playable. And hey, you once again have a Snapdragon 665 just like those slightly more expensive smartphones. No worries with the battery life either, as that 4000mAh cell keeps you going for a good few hours of action, while the 18 watt fast charge tech gets you filled up again in a jiffy, ready for that next session. And if you're after a capable PUBG smartphone for under £200, then definitely do not sleep on the Realme 5 either. This slick looking budget blower may drop the screen resolution to 720p, but the sizeable IPS panel is still pretty crisp. You get that Color OS launcher on board once again, delivering those dedicated gaming features such as Do Not Disturb and Resource Management. And yeah, no prizes for guessing that it's the Snapdragon 665 once again stuffed inside, so you can game on lower detail settings with a respectable and pretty consistent frame rate. But one of the definite highlights of the Realme 5 for that sub £200 price point is definitely the flipping huge 5000mAh battery, just like the Oppo A9 2020, which once again will keep you blasting strangers' kneecaps off well into the early hours. And it's also worth pointing out that if you bump up your budget a bit splash a little bit more cash you can upgrade the realme 5 to the realme 5 pro model this boosts the performance with the snapdragon 712 chipset and also bumps up the resolution of the screen from 720p to full hd although you do get a slightly smaller capacity battery at 4000 milliamp instead and that right there is my full review roundup of the best pubg mobile gaming smartphones that you can buy on a limited budget in 2020 i have personally tested and reviewed all of these smartphones you can go check out my reviews right here on TechSpert. um a couple of phones that i haven't reviewed Samsung Galaxy A20e, uh, an even cheaper Galaxy smartphone, cost under £200. I think you can grab it for about £140 now. I haven't tested it out, so I can't say whether it is great for gaming, but I've heard some good things about that. And also the recent Honor smartphones as well, still haven't got around to reviewing those, but they're generally pretty dependable, and you usually get that GPU turbo feature on there just like you do with the Huawei Nova 5T. And if you've got your own personal recommendations for the best budget PUBG mobiles, definitely let us know those in the comments below. No doubt there are a few uh, that I have haven't got around to reviewing yet so it'd be great to hear your thoughts. Please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you!